we will continue with our simple interest example but before we go into the finer utility of spreadsheet softwares we should first try to represent our data in a more meaningful format right now we just put down the numbers and the month names but if somebody were to look at this spreadsheet they are not really going to understand what is happening right so we are going to try to format this properly and for that i think the first thing we should be doing is to label the columns that we have here clearly the first column is all months and uh, we decided the second column is the interest for that month the third column c is the total interest and the column d is the total money that you are owed so in order to represent this it will be nice to have a heading a label for the column so something about this for that we will add a row above the first row so that we can keep the headings or the labels on them and for this we first go to the row one we right click and here you see a lot of options you could do you could delete the row you could clear the row you could hide it resize it group and a lot of things what we are interested in is inserting one row above and there you go we have a row here and let us give the names this one is month this one is interest to be paid for the month as you can see it is spilling over we will attend to that in a bit and then go to this cell and uh, this cell would be the heading for column c which is again i press enter this would be the total interest to be paid up to this month again it's filling over doesn't matter we'll come back to that and then here again go and press enter and this one would be the total money owed up to this month so now we have a decent indication of what that column is however we have trouble because this doesn't look good first of all the month looks the heading looks pretty much the same as the rest of the cells in that column and here this is cut off this is cut off and this one is spilling over so we are going to have to format this so it looks better so it looks meaningful what we could do is first we should make the headings the labels look distinct so we could probably try to fill them with a different color uh, instead of the whole column i'm just going to take the non empty ones so i have selected the cells a1 b1 c1 and d1 by using the shift and right key and now i'm going to go to this this is fill color fill color as in it will fill the cells with that particular color and i can choose whatever color there are a lot of colors here as you can see you can choose whichever and this is a google provided theme if you use just these colors you will get something that looks reasonably good so you can ju just choose that however i am going to go for something kind of light let us look at light green 3 and there you go now we have these cells have a distinct color we can do better we can make them be bold text so this option is the bold text which you could also get through control v there it is bold and now we still have the trouble that some of this text is cut off some and this text is spilling over so what you want to do in these cases is again select those and you can do what is called text wrapping so that is an additional option which is there so these three dots indicate more options you go to this and here this is text wrapping and there are three options 
one is overflow which is what you're seeing now it is filling over into the next cell and this is wrapping which means that text will be adjusted into the same cell in multiple lines and this one is clip it will get clipped to that particular uh, end of the cell i think the wrap is best because we want to see the whole text and there you go now you can see the whole text it is coming up as multiple lines right and instead of three lines we might want it to be maybe just two lines so for that it helps if the cell width is greater right if the cell were wider then we can fit this into two lines so one way to do that is to expand the whole column because if you are expanding this cell you're expanding every cell under it so what you can do is take your cursor to this edge this border of the column click and drag it and as you can see it is now expanded you can do the same for column c and again for column d now since everything is fitting into two lines you have the cell height to be accommodating only two lines and you could make this further more uh, centrally aligned so what we can do is let us select everything we can take this shift right 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 and then holding shift still go down 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 in this way now we have selected all these cells and what we can do now is uh, we can center align the text so we again went to the more options and the horizontal alignment we are doing it as center so what you have seen here is that all the data is now fitted at the center of the set and further we can go to vertical align as well here again you have a top middle and bottom so we go to middle which has made the text appear at the vertical center now our spreadsheet looks considerably better to read we can do a little more formatting in terms of these numbers these numbers could just be anything right 10000 10050 etc but we know that they are supposed to be money these are indian rupees so we can do number formatting we will again select these cells you see what i am doing right shift right right and then down 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 yeah and now we go to the format option here and here we have a number of formatting options whatever you've seen there are also here there is a alignment left center right is for horizontal top middle bottom is for vertical and there's a lot of other options we'll see them slowly later but what we are looking at is number formatting so in number formatting there are a lot of options what we are looking for is currency but the default currency that google sheets offers is the dollar symbol what we want is the indian rupee so we go to more formats then more currencies and within this if we went down we will see so there are all these other currency options for formatting but let us look for the indian rupee and here we are this is the rupee symbol and if we apply this all of this is now in indian rupees and now this looks like a good simple interest sheet in this video we have seen some of the formatting options but there are actually a lot of them for example we have not looked at the italic option or the strike through option and uh, there is also an underlining the text option which is here in the format so you are encouraged to go through all these options play around with all the formatting and find formats that work for you that you think looks good but more than looking good make sure that your spreadsheet is doing what you want it to do it should represent the data to you in a very usable way
so the other options could be the whole uh, we have syntax wrapping vertical alignment horizontal alignment there's also the borders fill color we have seen this is the text color you can play with all of this bar and the other things that are in here we'll see more of these maybe in future right now let us go on to seeing how to make more use of spreadsheets with the same example thank you